Can I welcome members to the third meeting in 2018 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. Uh, agenda item one um, is proposed that the committee takes item five, consideration of the Planning Scotland Bill in private. Does the committee agree to take the item in private? Indeed. Okay. Uh, agenda item two um, is consideration of instruments subject to the affirmative procedure. No points have been raised on the draft representation of the People Scotland Amendment Regulations 2018 and the draft Continuing Care Scotland Amendment Order 2018. Is the committee content with these instruments? Okay. Agenda item three is consideration of an instrument subject to negative procedure. Um, it's the Animal Feed Basic Safety Standards Scotland Regulations 2018 SSI 2018-15. The instrument provides for an offence where a person deliberately adds a radioactive substance in the production of animal feed. It's also an offence if a person imports or exports any feed to which a radioactive substance has been intentionally added during production. The regulations were laid before the Parliament on 16th of January and come into force on the 6th of February. This does not respect the requirement that at least 28 days should elapse between the laying of an instrument which is subject to the negative procedure and the coming into force of that instrument. So the committee may wish to find that the failure to comply with section 28 to be acceptable in the circumstances. The reasons for not complying are outlined in the letter from the Scottish Government Legal Services Directorate to the presiding officer dated the 16th of January supplemented by the written response to the committee on the regulations. Does the committee agree to draw the regulations to the attention of the Parliament on reporting ground J as they fail to comply with the requirements of section 28.2 of the Interpretation and Legislative Reform Scotland Act 2010? Okay. And does the committee also agree to find the failure to comply with section 28 to be acceptable in the circumstances as outlined in the correspondence from the government contained within our papers. Okay. Agenda item four is consideration of an instrument not subject to any parliamentary procedure. It's the Education Listed Body Scotland Order 2018 SSI 2018 7. The Scottish Government is required to make orders listing all UK bodies which are authorised to offer degree level programmes for validation by a recognised body, as is the UK Government and the other devolved administrations. The Scottish Government has acknowledged that two of the bodies listed are not correctly described. So they are the Mary Hare Grammar School, grammar spelt wrong incidentally, and St Philip's Centre. Should be described as limited companies, Mary Hare and St Philip's Centre Limited. The Scottish Government has undertaken to amend the errors in the next amending instrument, or in other words, in the next order which updates the list of bodies. The last amendment was made in 2009. So does the committee agree to draw the order to the attention of the Parliament on the general reporting ground as two of the bodies listed in part one of the schedule of the order are incorrectly described? Okay. Uh, and secondly, does the committee agree to recommend to the Scottish Government that the description of the two bodies should be amended promptly, given that part one of the schedule of the order confirms those bodies which are authorised to provide courses in preparation for a degree? Okay, I now move the meeting into private session. <laughs>